morning, happy Saturday. I already saw Lucas sign in at 8.35 a.m. Lucas, what the heck are you doing here so early? Let's go see what he's doing. I am preparing solutions for a cell-based essay, which hopefully is working this time because I've tried it a million times. Wow, so nice to see someone here early on a weekend. So nice. I had promised Alavi to do something for her really quickly for the for the UPLC, and then I'm gonna go down to the basement and check on my mice from yesterday. Yesterday, we injected the mice with tumors, so we're waiting for the tumors to develop now, and basically every day or every other day, we have to go in and check to see like the volume. Okay, so I'm done with this now. I'm gonna go down to the basement. Maybe I'll like vlog the non-animal part of the basement. Definitely not gonna show any mice. Every time we want to bring something into the other side, we have to like put it into this chamber thing here and like disinfect it and leave it in there for a bit. So I'm gonna put you in there because you're not clear to go in. So I'll put you in here and I'll get you on the other side. So this is where all the mice are housed. That's a, probably the extent of how much I could show you about this. So they're nice and active. So I'll check in um, upstairs. Okay, that was really quick. Done. Mice are okay. Tumors have not really developed. I'm going home now. I'm so happy. It's like just past 10, so that was super quick, and I still have all day to, to myself. Nice. Oops, that was only less than an hour. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Monday. <sighs> last week, I think I was just like anticipating doing animal work. It just wasn't a very productive week, but now I'm gonna try to move on and work on the next project while I'm waiting for the tumors to grow because everything is like already in place. My particles are ready to be injected and I shouldn't just be waiting around because it's just silly. I'm so excited to start on this new project. It's a new drug that I'm working with and I had left the reaction to synthesize overnight for one of the starting materials. So I'm gonna work on that. I had already like synthesized one of the compounds out of the three for this project and formed them into nanoparticles. So now I'm just checking the stability of this so that I can start the release study. So hopefully they're still okay. It's been 11 days since I formed these particles. So we'll see in a bit if they are still good to go. Otherwise I have to make new particles. Let's go check on that other reaction uh, that I left. <laughs> So this is the compound. I'm going to take an aliquot and do TLC. <laughs> These look good enough to do some drug release studies on, right? Let's put these into plasma. And as for this guy, I believe this is the product because this is the starting material. So, oh God. Okay, let's do this. Back to our favorite room. This looks like a very funky peak. Is that my compound? Oh, more interesting stuff is happening. Oh, oh, it's going up. Oh, I'm guessing this is my compound and this is the unreacted starting material. That's my guess. <laughs> Noju's presenting today for group meeting. 
I should still run the experiment. And it started already. <laughs> We're waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. Which <laughs> one Yeah, yeah, no ch okay. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Okay, good. Yeah, I think can I share that one? Because that one I think is more applicable to us. So Okay. Welcome to another <laughs> another montage of <laughs> when shit goes wrong. Yesterday, nothing really went wrong. It was just uh, slightly confusing because this was a compound that I was purifying yesterday. There's only like, I believe like 10 milligrams here or something ridiculous like that. When I am just starting to synthesize something, I do it in a very small scale first. And then if it works, then I scale it up. I still have to confirm with another method of analysis today, but I think it's safe to do the same reaction with a higher yield, higher amount. And and there's also another reaction that I want to try out today maybe because my mice don't have tumors yet I have all day to do some synthesis oh my god I was just starting to clean up and then I broke this this is the second one I broke this month Frick. great start to the day great start to the day I stole your white one. Yeah. Oh, you. I, I only stole your white one. What the hell? <laughs> 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 this is so true. We're sick of Right. So I have my samples here or reagents ready to synthesize but I have to dry them under vacuum first so I'm gonna set the vacuum up and leave it and go for lunch and then come back Hello, back from lunch and I was gonna do my reaction but then I got the results back from this previous analysis that I did during lunch and I was expecting like a specific mass and I didn't see it and I don't know if that's because the mass isn't behaving today or if it's because I didn't get my compound so now I'm in the NMR room and checking that because if that reaction did not work then I would probably try to repeat that or think about a different way to synthesize it rather than move on with the new synthesis today. So we'll see in a few more minutes what the fate of the rest of my day is. Hmm. So I have something. At least I didn't just collect nothing. I see this, which is what I'm looking for, but... It looks pretty, it looks like the resolution isn't great. So I'm not sure if I can say anything for sure. So I might run this again with more scans to see if I can see a clearer signal. But yeah, I don't know, man. What the hell? <laughs> no Jude! Oh my God, this is No Jude's preparation for tomorrow. <laughs> Lucas was looking for this. <laughs> no way, no, I confess that I stole this from him. Wait, you, this is mine, right? Mine. And then, and then he said, oh yeah, no, it's fine, but someone else stole his blue one. I stole it from Cohen. <laughs> and then we looked, I think it and then, stole it from him. and then we looked in here and we saw all of this, but you use it every time anyway, so. Oh no, 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 the blue one, yeah, the blue one I stole, I just stole. <sighs> Hello, we're calm now. It is the end of the day. So I figured out what happened with my reaction. First of all, my column was unsuccessful at separating my stuff. So whatever day that was, was just completely gone. Second of all, 
I collected most of my starting material. So this this was like one of the starting materials that I didn't account for in my TLC plate. And third of all, whatever I was analyzing on the NMR was actually my starting material, not my product. So it's good that I did these analysis before moving on to the next step. So I was going to synthesize something new today, but because of these results, I'm now synthesizing the previous compound again with a higher yield this time so I can better purify it tomorrow. That is the conclusion of the day. We had to pivot. That's fine. This is the first time I'm doing this. It's okay. Check in with you tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I am ready to redeem myself today. There it is. Yesterday I just increased the starting material so that I have more compound to work with so that I don't lose my compound again and hopefully you, by using like a bigger column I can column it better. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Also, in the meantime, I'm gonna have to figure out why this UPLC is not working. We just couldn't get the mass to like detect anything. This is the thing with using the UPLC. Like it's a great instrument, like we all need it but oh my gosh when something goes wrong it pushes everyone back like by so much and then all we really know how to do is like turn it on and off and like pray that it works again so hello IT have you tried turning it off and on again <sighs> oh yeah and I have to check my mice today I will go down and check my mice to see if there are tumors I don't think there will be tumors today either so it's been five days I'll wait until a week before we try to inject again maybe. Hopefully today is going to be more productive with better results. But I'm optimistic about today, so let's get going. Oh my gosh, can you see this mark from my goggles? I just got back from the animal house and my mice have developed tumors. Only some of them though, so they're like really, really small. So I'm gonna wait like a couple more days for all of them to develop tumors or at least like they get bigger. While I was down there with Jamin, our lab mate, um, I started to practice IV injections again because I'm actually trained to do all my animal work, but I just decided not to do it because I'm so terrified of mice and like getting bitten and stuff because when I was getting trained, I got bit so many times. <laughs> with Jamin's patient guidance, we, we were just practicing with buffer. We injected some buffer into the tail vein of the mice. I, I, I can do it. I, I'm capable of doing it. And I think it's because like the mice strain matters too. The mice that I'm working with, they're very gentle compared to the mice that I previously worked with for the training part. They always bit me because they're super aggressive. So it is now almost 10.30 and I'm still running these blanks for UPLC to see if the signal will show up and now I'm gonna go check my reaction but things are happening things are finally gonna happen I think I'm gonna start to inject the mice probably Friday either Friday or Saturday so I should prepare my particles soon and it's happening guys it's happening I think this is my compound I'm gonna go analyze this now So, I believe this is my compound. I collected these fractions here and I only see one spot this time. So that's good. But I'm not sure why the yield is so low. I only got like less than 20 milligrams and I put in 150 milligrams. It's so low. So we'll see. I booked the NMR so I will be running that in a bit. But in the meantime, I am going to size my nanoparticles to make sure that they're okay still so that I can inject them at the end of the week, I hope. So those are the things that I have left to do today. Check my NMR and check the size of my nanoparticles. I'm in the NMR room. I just finished analyzing my spectrum. I don't think I got the compound. I'm gonna go back and analyze this and do some more research and also check my column again to see if I'm missing something. Like maybe I collected the wrong fraction. <sighs> Anyways, I'll figure it out eventually. I am back in the NMR room. So I think I collected the wrong fraction. 
and now that I collected this fraction I have a higher yield so this seems like it should be the product that it's running right now at least my particles look good so I check my particles so they're okay to be injected whenever the mice are ready to be injected and the mass that I have been trying to figure out all day it's still not giving any signal so I don't know what to do about that and hopefully we can figure that out tomorrow with my lab mate Nojude I'm so tired. I just I just really hope this is good news. So we'll see in a few minutes. <laughs> we'll see in a few minutes. Oh my god, it's done. Okay, okay. Let's open this up. Please, 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 please. My heart. Oh my god, thank god. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Let me let me just see. Let me just see. I think Okay, let me clean this up and I'll show you. So this is my compound that I've been trying to get all day today. Yay! So this is the peak that I was looking for along with a few new peaks here. And if we put it over the drug that I changed, I modified. So we see the new peaks here and some new peaks here for the new benzyl group that I added. And then like, this is the signature peak. Oh my God, this is so, I'm so relieved. So what I was looking at before, was this this green one here was what i was looking at before and this obviously isn't the right compound because like it's missing so many peaks of the drug itself anyways so i think it was like the starting material on uh, monday or whatever day that was this is what I, I collected which is also like the wrong thing I collected all different fractions except for the one i was looking for until now oh my god okay Okay, I can sleep well tonight. Oh my gosh. Anywho, thank you for sticking around for this whole week of shenanigans. I think this is quite a long vlog already since Saturday, I think. So I will end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.